Hello, I would like to um, introduce myself. I'm Dr. Delish Clare, and I would like to share with you my passion for two things health and herbs. So, I'm going to talk about using loose herb teas for medicinal purposes. Um, so, you want to get a therapeutic benefit, and the best way to do that is using herbs. Obviously, the most important thing is to get good quality herbs. These should feel good, look pleasing look like what they, they should be and smell good. So there's a real touchy feeling. The reason for the loose herbs is that they infuse properly and you get good medicinal benefit. I have a blend here of relaxed herbs with chamomile, lemon balm, passion flower, rosemary, skullcap and wild oats. So I have three methods of using the herb teas which make it practical to use for therapeutic purposes. We have our trusty teapot, so we put the herbs in there. We have a cafetiere, which is more traditionally associated with making coffee. You can get a similar tea infuser, which is like a combination, um, which has a pocket for the infused herbs, usually glass. And we also have the tea ball, uh, which is useful for making occasional cups of tea. So the usual dose is one or amount is one teaspoon per cup or one teaspoon in the tea ball now people get um, a bit muddled about how much is a tea cup or how much water they can use or not use it's not at all critical go according to taste preference mainly you can use a small cup, an average mug like this, or a bigger mug. Uh, and then you just use water at the tip of the boil and add to the teapot. Or you close your tea ball. The teapot and the cafetiere both have lids, so if you're using the tea ball, use a saucer or something to cover the cup so that any volatile oils, the smelly bits, go back into the tea so you get the medicinal benefit. You can drink the tea when it's a little bit cool, just the right temperature for drinking, and you can work away. But if you want to use it for the day's supply, you can then let it go cool and put it into a hard plastic um, container, uh, not a non-reusable plastic mineral water bottle, or you can use a flask. So when it's infused for three or four minutes, just put down the plunger and add to your flask or you let it go cold or cool and then you put it in your plastic water bottle. I usually let it cool overnight. Or you use your tea strainer with your nice traditional making a nice ritual of it teapot and there you have your lovely tea. I think it's a more intimate relationship with the tea, tea leaves. And then you've got more tea for later and using these methods you can use the tea that you've blended in your teapot or your cafetiere throughout the day. So I hope you enjoy your wonderful herbal teas and that they give you good health. <laughs>